Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I want to speak about the ways in which a man and a woman falls in love and the ways in which men and women fall in love are counterintuitive to the opposite sex. Now, this is really interesting and also makes a lot of sense when you think about it logically. If you think about it, men and women are made up differently, right? Our bodies are different. Our biology is different. Our beliefs and habits and behaviors are all different. And the reason it's different is because our energies are different. And so if we're operating from our correct energy, our dominant energy, which is our leading energy in life. So for a woman, I advocate that's our feminine energy. And for a man, it's going to be his masculine energy. We function from our energy primarily. So our beliefs, our habits, our behaviors are all going to function from the energy. And therefore, if we are functioning from our correct energy, our habits, behaviors, and beliefs, the way we fall in love, our drivers are all going to be representative of that core energy. And therefore, if we are actually leading life in our correct energy, the way in which we fall in love is going to be counterintuitive to the opposite sex. Now, those of us that are in our correct energy and function life from our dominant energy, we're going to resonate with my message because that is going to resonate very much in your soul because you're going to think that, yes, this is how I fall in love with a woman, or yes, this is how I fall in love with a man. But oftentimes when we're not functioning from the correct energy or we're functioning from the extreme version of our energy, so that would mean for a woman to be in her unhealthy feminine energy or toxic feminine or wounded feminine, or a man functioning from his toxic masculine or wounded masculine, they're going to have a harder time grasping my messages and they often might be triggered as well because they're not functioning from the correct energy. Those of you that are functioning from the correct energy or even if you're not functioning from the correct energy but desire to function from the correct energy because your deep desire is to be with a man or a woman that is in you know their correct energy which is a man that's in his masculine or a woman that's in her feminine, you're going to really resonate with my messages because that's what you're going to be seeking in your own life. Now, the title gives it away in terms of how men fall in love. Men fall in love in a woman's absence. So whereas in a woman, we will fall in love when a man is pursuing us, courting us, and sending nice messages to us and following that up with action. For me, when I'm around my partner and I'm feeling safe with him and I'm able to expand more into my femininity, so I'm goofy, I'm playful, I'm relaxed. I'm actually feeling closer and closer to him. Whereas in when I'm not with him, I forget about him in a way. Like my mind is not toward him because I'm so busy in my own life. And it's one of those things where it's like out of sight, out of mind. Doesn't mean I don't miss him. I miss that connection because usually when I'm with him, I'm feeling super close to him. And when I'm not with him, especially if it's a few days. So right now we're not living together. And it's been, I haven't seen him since Thursday. I'm going to see him today. But when I haven't seen him for this many days, what will happen is, and last night, actually, it didn't hit me until eight o'clock at night that, oh, I felt lonely. And the reason for that is because I spent so much time with him and we haven't gone this many days without seeing each other. Now, I wasn't seeing him the last few days because we live separately and I had interviews and things like that this morning. So I had work to do. So for me, when I'm not with him or I'm with a man and he's not pursuing me, and this is not to say that my partner is not pursuing me, but let's say in the beginning stages, if a man is not pursuing me, because I'm more in my feminine energy and I'm in my empowered feminine energy, I tend to disconnect. Men, on the other hand, actually fall in love in this space. So a man falls in love with a woman when a man is thinking about a woman, when he's thinking about, oh, I can't wait to be with her again, when he's planning for her, in that absence, in that space, women that are not in their correct energies, again, because if you're in the empowered feminine, you're not going to chase a man or remind a man that you're there, especially when he's not deserving of it, as in you're not engaged, you're not married. It's a very different story when you're engaged to a man and married to a man. Last night, I was telling my partner that, oh, I miss him and I, oh, it's hit me that I feel lonely. And of course, his natural response was, come stay with us, come here he's naturally going to try to close that gap. Now, if I wasn't in that sort of dynamic with him and I wasn't at that stage of a relationship with him and we weren't engaged, we weren't going to be getting married, there's no way I would say that to him because it would not be attractive to me if a man wasn't closing in that gap. Now, men, on the other hand, 
fall in love through that tension. They fall in love in a woman's absence. They fall in love when their thoughts are going back to her and they're thinking, oh, I miss her. I want to plan something. I want to see her. When am I going to see her again? They fall in love in that gap. They don't fall in love when a woman is consistently taking up all this space because a man wants to take up space. So when the feminine energy is taking up that space intentionally and it's coming from a space of insecurity because she can't be alone, she doesn't want to be alone, she's desperate, or she's taking the man's rule in that she's convincing the man that, you know, she's right for him or, you know, they should be together. What happens with a man that's in his masculine is he feels pressure. He doesn't feel good in that because he's feeling a lot of pressure. He's feeling, oh, shoot, like I have to be in this relationship. And oftentimes he'll feel trapped. And men are not thinking about this, but unconsciously they want to be the one to feel all these feelings for a woman and they want to be able to move toward her. And so healthy men will fall in love with a woman that in his presence, she is light and feminine and easygoing and relaxed and she doesn't carry a lot of negative emotions. So oftentimes women that are more in the wounded feminine and the comment place is such a great way to see where people's energies are because people that leave negative comments or are triggered, they're often in the unbalanced energy because Women and men that are in the corrupt energies aren't going to spend time on the internet saying negative things to people. They don't function that way. If they don't resonate with someone, they just don't follow that person. That's how I would function. There's no good or bad to anyone's content. It either just resonates or it doesn't resonate. And if it's something that doesn't feel good to you or doesn't resonate, you don't have to follow me. You can follow someone else and vice versa. So the people that actually spend time commenting and saying negative things or telling me how it is, they're in their incorrect energy because correct energies don't do that. When a man is in the presence of a woman that is in her empowered feminine energy, he's feeling good feelings with her, right? So good feelings means she's light, she's empowered, she's happy, she's carefree. There's no pressure. There's not a lot of heavy negative emotions. And if we don't do our inner work, we're going to carry a lot of heavy negative emotions. And even if we can't see it, other people can see it and other people can feel it, right? And so a man is not going to fall in love with that type of woman. A man is usually going to feel that woman is going to be a lot of work in the relationship and he's not going to pursue that dynamic. But when a man is with a woman that is in her feminine and she's empowered, she's like, she feels good to be around, she's confident, she doesn't cause a lot of drama. When she's not there, he starts to miss her and he starts to think, oh, I can't wait to be around this woman again. And he thinks about her and he plans their future and he wants to be with her. And an empowered feminine woman allows that gap to be there, allows that space and tension to be there so that a man can close that gap. I believe everyone inherently has value, but they're low value, meaning that they suck a person's energy. So this is where low value and high value comes from. A person that is considered high value gives energy to their surroundings and gives energy to other people. A person that is low value is like an energy suck and they are takers and they don't give energy, they take energy. So a woman that is consistently chasing a man and trying to convince a man of her value is a low value woman because in convincing, you are sucking the energy of a man you're not allowing him room to think of you, miss you, and actually close that gap because those are feelings that he needs to feel in order to feel that a woman is right for him. When a man is with a woman that provides this sort of tension and provides space and knows her worth and doesn't put up with negative behavior of a man, a man starts to think, I don't want to lose this woman. Now, I talk about this in my books as well in terms of what a masculine man wants in Secrets of the Feminine Woman and as well as what men want, The Ultimate Guide to a Masculine Man's Heart. So make sure you check out those books. They're such amazing resources if you want to learn about masculine feminine energy. And my partner actually wrote in both of these books and he mentioned that he knew that I was the one for him when the thought of me not being there, it's not something that he could fathom. Now. There's been points in our relationship where I have taken space from him because let's say that the relationship was not progressing in a pace that I wanted. So as an example, I'm turning 40. 
And it's been a few years since I've been with him, but I knew that I wanted to be married. I knew that I wanted to be a wife and I wasn't looking for a relationship with just a boyfriend anymore. A few months into our relationship, when he wanted to move into commitment, I wasn't ready for commitment because I didn't want to be a girlfriend anymore. I wanted to be a wife. And there were moments where I continued to date and my partner didn't like it. But in that absence is when he started to solidify plans for our future. And this was no force. It was just me taking care of myself and knowing that I'm a catch and any man would want to be with me. And I'm at a point in my life where I don't want to be a girlfriend. That's not the type of relationship that I want. And even moving into engagement, there was a moment where my partner was going to propose and we got sidetracked because of other things that happened in our life. It looked like that was going to be delayed. And Instead of me waiting around for him, and there was a period of time where I gave him grace, but at some point I realized that I'm going to wait around for a man to take the next steps with me. And I had said this to him. I said to him, I know that you have things that you need to figure out in your personal life and that's okay, but I can't keep all my eggs in this basket anymore because I am getting older and I do want to be married. And I took space from him. Now, this wasn't a situation where my partner wasn't going to propose. He was going to propose. It wasn't a situation where he, he wasn't doing all the things he needs to be doing as a man in a relationship. He was doing everything that he should be doing. He's an amazing, quality, handsome, high value man. But for me, I was looking to move into another stage in our relationship. And I didn't want to be in the relationship anymore without being engaged. It just didn't feel good to me. And so I took space. And in that, and I, I actually said to him, even in that time period, I said, don't reach out to me. Don't contact me until you're ready for something more serious. And we are meant to be together. I trust that we will be together. It was about a week and he came back with a ring. It was like literally seven days because in my presence, he feels so good. I added so much value to his life. I'm educated. I'm independent. But I also give him a feeling of being needed I provide all these things to him that he needed that when I wasn't with him, he missed that. He missed my feminine energy. He missed our time together. And that is what really propelled him to move into the next step. Now, even to this day, every single time we take space or I'm out with my friends or anything like that, I tend to notice that is the times that he is solidifying our future more and more. Now, men can't do this when they are always in the presence of a woman because they're in the moment. They're with the woman. So they're not up in their head thinking about the next steps. It's when they take space and time from the woman that they can evaluate, okay, is this a woman that I want to be with? Is this a woman I don't want to be with? And do I miss her? So if a man is not feeling the feelings of do I miss her, he's not going to be able to close that gap because he's not going to feel enough of those good feelings to solidify things to the next step. Now, women that close that gap, so every single time a woman wants to message a man, and it makes sense why a woman would want to close the gap because women are connection oriented. So by nature, we are designed differently. However, men need a period of disconnection in order to feel certain feelings and in order to decide whether is this a woman that I want to be with? Is this a woman that I want to spend my time with? And the only way that he's going to be able to determine that within himself is when there's space and there's absence because men fall in love with women when they know that I can't live without her. And there's so many examples of couples that break up and a man is unsure or they take space. And in that space is when they realize I can't not be with this woman. And it's usually when the woman is not chasing him. Because the moment that a woman chases a man, if the man is masculine, the man is going to think there's something about this woman that doesn't feel good to me. And the reason is because a woman that chases a man is not confident and doesn't feel good about herself. Every single time you've reached out to a man and you've tried to solidify things with him, he's actually taken steps further and further back. So even if he messages you and talks to you here and there, he's not making plans for the future and he's not committing to you. That's because you're there and it provides him an ego boost in that he knows that there's someone here that likes me and so you're a backup plan, but it doesn't create enough feelings in him to solidify the relationship with you because he knows in his core that he's the one that should be moving towards the woman that he wants and he's the one that wants to close the gap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are and I look forward to seeing you in another video.